Lord is waiting. Please help me, Lord. I'm sick. And I'm sorry. The Lodge, 2019. Riley Keough, Jaden Martell, Alicia Silverstone. To give you a little shocker, I didn't know that that was Alicia Silverstone until two days ago. Oh, is that what? <laughs> no, you see, like, I'm really yeah. good with faces, names I'm kind of iffy with, but I remember a face, and I knew that was her. I'm normally really good with faces and names, too, but I, this one, I, I did not realize it was her until two days ago when I seen a meme, and it was Alicia Silverstone from Clueless. And it was a picture, and the, the the caption says something from the lodge, and I was like, "What the hell does this mean?" And mm-hmm. then my friend commented on it and said, "The lodge, 2019," and I was like, "That yeah. was her." That's when I realized it. Boing. <laughs> and I watched the movie a week ago, and I still didn't know it until two days ago. Aiden and Mia, two children, brother and sister. They are children of a fresh divorce between their parents. The father had found a younger thing. <laughs> Alicia Silverstone plays the mother. They get divorced. Uh, the father has Grace as the girlfriend. Hi, Aiden. Hi, Mia. And she is a child of abuse she grew up in a cult i didn't say at least i don't recall anything saying how she was brought into the cult but no yeah i don't only yeah she was the only survivor of a mass suicide Because she was claimed to be like, you know, the saving grace and spread the word, like spread the good word. Yeah, basically to do it all over again. Right. They get snowed in for Christmas at, I guess, their their like fishing lodge. And the kids get stuck with Grace, who's going to be the new stepmom, which they are not happy about. Stop it! I said stop it! They know about Grace's past, how... Everything yeah, is they, so messed they up. They look it up on the internet. And you will find salvation. Repent, and you will wash away every sin that has been bothering you. Just confess. Repent and pray. They find out. They don't tell her that they know, though. You know, they keep that secret. Right. And I have to give it to these kids. They have some balls like that. I mean... They, their mother ended up committing suicide. <laughs> oh, those poor kids to have their like mom just ripped away because the mom was so sad. Yeah. I just felt terrible. Like the mom does it right after she finds out that he wants a divorce fully. I think we should finalize the divorce. Grace and I are gonna get married in September. So he can marry the new girl. Right. And that was the catalyst to push her over the edge. Because she was hope I think she was hoping it was a fling and it would end and that they would get back together. Yes. And when she realized that was not gonna be the what's gonna happen, felt like it happened so rapidly, but that was a very shocking moment. That was just like near the beginning of the movie. I was I was kind of like my jaw dropped. I was like, oh my god, that's what's going (laughs) on right now. But then like I said, like then when he came with saying, Hey, can you I want a divorce so I can marry so and so. Right. That was just that was the ending point for it. And you knew she had hope because she cared what she looked like. Yeah. She sighed. Right. You could tell she still loved him and you right. know, and that's how you that's that's how you connected with her because we've all been there. Yeah. You know, and it's like it's like such a blow. It's like Yeah, like she didn't want it to end, regardless of what he did. She was willing to to continue forward. Right. Obviously, he was not. And uh, sadly, he picked a... A very broken person. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, she... I, 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 I like this actress. I've seen her in a few things. I think she's really good. 
But I mean, oh my gosh, this one is oof. like if if this is a psychological thriller. Yeah. So I, if yeah. you're not used to like any type of like mind fuckery, this will bother you. I like those type of movies because I think it goes so much deeper and it hits you more to the core and you remember it more instead of just some, you know, pop up scary face. Are you lost, sweetheart? Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff. Ding. Yeah. You know, yeah. I feel like this one, like I said, you felt the hope within Alicia Silverstone in the beginning. Then you felt the tragic of her death and her kids and how they were agonizing over the whole separation and now the loss of the mother. Kids can't bounce back from that. And their, their father expected them to, which I think was terrible. No. No, you don't want to do that? No. How come? That's yeah. another thing that they got to deal with. So right. then they start fucking with her. The whole movie, you're led to believe that it's Alicia Silverstone's ghost that's that's like inhabiting the, the cabin or whatever. You get closer to the end. It's the kids that are fucking with her. So it's not some ghost entity here. Like here, I believed it the entire movie until that came to fruition. They did a really good job of making me believe that until I found out what really was going on. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, fuck, you really fucked this girl up. She went out in, uh, you know, out in that storm, walking for hours. And then turned around, came back because she... Wasn't going to make it. Here, the kids are the ones who turned off the power. And then when the kids couldn't turn the power back on, I said, oh, you done fucked up. You done messed up! Because mm -hmm. you done really fucked up. You fucked up this girl, and you don't know what she's going to do now because she's from a cult. And now you don't have any power or food or water. You are really fucked now. As we get closer to the ending, when the dad reaches there and gets there, I was sitting on the edge of my seat just going, okay, don't hurt the kids, don't hurt the kids, don't hurt the kids, don't hurt the kids. And then and then the way she she totally snapped and thought that they were already dead because of what the tricks the kids played on her. She, her mind broke when that when that moment happened, when the kid was pretending to be hung and showing that, oh I'm dead, see? Confess! Her mind snapped completely. And they were like, the kids even talked about like, oh, we have to tell her the truth and try to get her back. The damage was already done. There was no getting her back at that point. She was yeah. fucked. Uh, and then she- It's so funny. It's so funny that you said like, oh, I you thought it was Alicia Silverstone's ghost haunting her. I didn't think that at all. That was funny. I like how you could think that because I wouldn't have thought that because I didn't. Right. I, I just thought like she was just like getting triggered by little things and her medication wasn't working and she's got to deal with these kids and oh shit, you know, I got all this responsibility. And then she's getting flashes of this where she thinks like, oh man, my medication really isn't working. I'm losing my shit. And then you, like you said, she broke. Yeah. That, that was such like, an interesting take. I, I love that. Like I didn't think of that at all. <laughs> and then you find out it's not a ghost. It really is because of the no medication. But then you find out the kids have been playing this fucking tape up in the attic hmm. because it's a tape they found online of the guy speaking and they're playing it up in the attic and she thinks right. she's hearing it in her head when really it's just being played in the attic. What a fucking diabolical fucking mean thing to do to somebody who you don't really know their mental state well, to do to somebody like that. Yeah. And I think that's, Part of the reason why at the end the kids just sat at the table and allowed everything to happen because they realized we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's no getting out of here. We laid our we made our bed. We gotta lay in it now. I agree. I think Which that they, they, they kind of felt like thing. no, not the kids, not the kids, but you know, that ending is so fucking heart wrenching because I'm like, those kids could have did it, they, they could have did this, like they could have. But yeah. they knew that they just were already beaten. They're like, 
this is just what we deserve. We don't have a mom anymore. We don't have a dad anymore. What do we have? Done. Like, and and yeah. they caused it. They caused the, the, they didn't cause the mom part, but they caused everything afterwards. Right. Uh, yeah. And, and I think that's why they, they came to that realization and were just like, we're done. And I loved how you don't hear any gunshots at the end. It just kind of zooms away. And black. And you just assume right. the worst. You don't see it. You don't hear it. You just, just know. No one's making it out of that cabin that day. Yeah. Uh, you know, everything's coming full circle, essentially. Right. Um, and, <clears throat> I mean, it can all really be brought back on the dad for, we don't know if he cheated or left first. We don't know what happened first. I don't, I don't think that matters. You know? You know, regardless. I mean, obviously, there was a divide there where he just left. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, and he knew about her past, which is even more crazy to, number one, put your kids through that. Number two, put somebody like that through that. Alone with your again. kids for three days. I wouldn't who, be doing that. Who fucking does that? I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, okay, uh, she had, you know, she was in a cult before. She could have a psychotic break at any time. Yeah, I'm just going to leave you with my kids for three days. See you, bye. I swear. But I know my kids already hate you, so... Yeah, let's just do that. Right? Oh, I can the handle fuck it. Wrong with him. You can handle it. Are yeah. you fucking sure? Because uh, even when she first meets the kids. Well, I have to email you. Well, and she gets into the car and she just sits there for a second and doesn't do anything, doesn't say anything, doesn't speak. Yeah. And then she turns around. It's like. These kids just lost their mother. Yeah. Don't try to be like anything more than a fucking ear to cry on right now. Right? Yeah. Like, try to be a tell friend. She didn't just... give a shit. And I, I hate to say this. I really do. Because I hate when dogs or any type of animals are like killed in a movie. But I was like, wow. Those kids killed that one thing that she had. Her dog, one thing she loved yeah. to make right. an example of what they are going through. <laughs> it was my fault, Grace. <laughs> I left the door open. <laughs> so sorry. Right. And then the little girl's like, you know, I let him out. I, 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 I didn't mean to. And it's like, but you still didn't give a shit what happened to the dog. That's right. Yeah. But I like it because it's like it's it's. Not an Easter egg, but it's something, it's like a core moment where it's like, all right, they're trying to make you understand to make you really jump off that deep end. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I fucking love this movie. I thought it was great. I think it was a very, <laughs> uh, very underrated movie because I did not hear or see trailers about it or anything until right. you told me about it. it uh, be, so, you know? On one second. It might be a Hulu made movie. That's why. And you guys don't have Hulu over in, um... Canada, do you? No, but no. most Hulu stuff will go on uh, Disney. I did enjoy like the flashback scenes of the uh, the cult and and the leader speaking his his stuff and like how kind of how she walked around looking at all the dead bodies and covering them over with blankets. The brother, uh, Jaden Martell, he he was in um, oh, what the hell was it? The the new It movie with like the new kids and, and everything. He right, is yeah, great. Yeah. I love him as an actor. I'm not going anywhere with her, and least of all on Christmas. Look, I'm gonna marry Grace. Are you crazy? No, Aiden, I'm not crazy. It's all her fault. I'm sorry? I said it's all her fault. What's her fault? You left mom for, for a psychopath. Fuck you. Aiden. I highly recommend it. You can find I... it on Hulu. Um, I think it's like I love knowing all these like diamonds in the rough and these hidden gems, I feel, because they're just they're they're amazing. And I think everybody should see it. <laughs> it's a little slow paced movie, but it's worth it in the end. And it does leave your mind just baffled afterwards. Yeah, but I highly recommend it. Watch it. Check it out and give us likes and comments um, and stay tuned for the next episode, because I think we're going to be doing what is it? 
Krampus! Yeah.